How's it going, traders? It's the Bubble Wall Street back with another weekend review. Today, we're going to look at my top tech charts going into next week. If you enjoy my content, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel below. These two actions will help more people see my work. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can know when my videos come out. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Let me know what you think about these chart videos. Lastly, keep in mind, this is not financial advice. I'm doing this for educational purposes only. Now let's dig into these charts. So first up is Apple. And again, we're going to be on the daily chart using TrendSpider. And I go over basically the same names every week. Uh, so you can always go back on previous videos to see um, how I'm guiding everyone on these uh, trade ideas. But basically, once Apple broke through 150, it was just a clear shot to 154. Well, that was going to be my first target. And then the second target is going to be 200 simple moving average here. So we've got a little room on our side. We have no squeezes here to note. Um, however, we do have earnings coming up next week on the 28th. So I'm going to see uh, probably day trade Apple into earnings and then wait until after earnings. But any moves through this 200 simple moving average, uh, you just have to look at it as pretty bullish for the market and, and obviously bullish for Apple. So that's what I'm going to be watching next week. Uh, next up is AMD. So AMD, again, been showing relative strength over the last three weeks was or two and a half weeks. It was definitely my top watch last week. And we had a nice push finally through that 50 simple moving average after getting rejected on Wednesday. Had that breakout on Thursday, but then fell back below it on Friday. This week, what I'm going to be watching, can we break back over that 50 simple moving average over 91? And then I'm going to be watching 96 and 100 to the upside. Keep in mind, we do have earnings on August 2nd. Okay, next up is Amazon. We're back at the top of the range, right back at 124. We broke over that level on Thursday. We failed on Friday, putting in an outside day. And we have earnings coming up next week on the 28th. So very big, big earnings for, uh, for Amazon here. Nice three-dot squeeze that's already fired. Really just looking, can we get a close over 125.50? Any closes over 125.50? We've got a pretty big gap up here. And then I would expect a test of the 200 simple moving average. Uh, next up is CrowdStrike. We've been grinding higher for about three months now. Again, you break through that 50 and you're probably going to test. So long as you hold it, you're probably going to test that 200 in time. And you could see we broke through the 50. We came back, we back tested and we bounced. We did put in outside day, a bearish outside day in on Friday. So I want to see, can we get back through 186? If we can, then likely we will test 199.44, basically $200, and then the 200 simple moving average. Here's Datadog. It was kind of weak last week relative to the rest of the market. Um, we had a big gap up on Wednesday, inside day on Thursday, and then just a nasty double outside day. This is a double key close reversal. That's basically an outside day that closes below the prior two days. And that's exactly what we see. So this is not looking great. Uh, this might signal a move back down to $82 on Datadog. So I would say if we get below 91, this is probably a good short down to the $82 level with earnings coming up in two weeks on August 4th. Uh, next up is Google. To me, this just looks like a very big bear flag, to be honest. Uh, I have to be objective when looking at charts, and, and that's what kind of this looks like. So be very careful going into earnings next week on the 26th. I believe that's Tuesday. Uh, if we get a nasty earnings, this could come right back down to 102. So keep a close eye on Google. Big failure at that 50 simple moving average. Uh, next up is Meta, formerly known as Facebook. Um, we did come back through that 1272 last week. We broke over the 50 simple moving average Wednesday, held it on Thursday, but then gap down, nasty gap down on Friday. So now that we're back down below 172.67, we do have earnings on the 27th, which is on Wednesday, but uh, watch 155.15 to the downside. Any breaks below that is pretty bearish, and I would expect a move down to 139.50. 
If we gap up, watch for any holds over the 50 simple moving average. And then I would be targeting likely this channel here, maybe upwards of 193 in the coming weeks. But let's wait for after earnings to see which direction we go. Uh, next up is Microsoft, uh, really struggling with this falling wedge breakout. We initially broke out, then it failed. We broke back out and then put it in uh, a bearish candle here, dark cloud cover right back to that 50 simple moving average. We do have a squeeze setting up. However, we do have earnings also on the 26th, which is Tuesday. So the question will be, can we hold over the 50? And if we can, where do we go after earnings? Well, that would expect to move back up to the 200 simple moving average. If we fail and have a bad earnings, then we can come all the way back down to 140, excuse me, 241 in time. Next up is Nvidia. As I mentioned with AMD, uh, semiconductors have been pretty strong. We did break out and hold over the 50 simple moving average last week. We had a squeeze fire off on Monday, so that's in progress. Well, this week, I'm going to be watching 175.63. If we can break back through, I think 181, the prior high on Thursday, should come next. Next up is Shopify. It's just stuck in a range. Uh, we did have our split, and so uh, we're stuck between 30 and $40. We're at the top of the range here. If we continue to fail here at 40 I think this is probably a good short back down to the 50 simple moving average at $34.99, basically $35. And any breaks below that 50 I would just be targeting $30 to the downside. This did have a squeeze fire off on, uh, looks like Wednesday or Thursday, I should say. Um, it, it's a neutral squeeze. Um, momentum is going to the upside, but it's very, very small. So just keep a close eye on Shopify. We do have earnings coming up on the 27th, which is Wednesday. Next up is Snow. Looks like earnings are not for uh, just about a month, actually a month from today on August 24th. We're holding over the 50 simple moving average, but we're, we're continuing to fail at this uh, 161 to 164 range. Uh, we, we see a lot of volatility on snow intraday, so it, it makes it very difficult uh, to take swing trades and to hold this overnight. Um, it's great for day trades, but lately just been chopping around between 142 and 164, so it's a pretty big range. So you have to know what you're trading when you trade snow, and what I would say is, can we hold that 50? If we bounce off the 50, maybe we could take a trade back up to 160. Uh, but right now, that's that's all I see with snow. And last but not least, certainly not least, Tesla. Big earnings last week. We had a nice move through uh, 7.73 on Thursday. Beautiful continuation on Friday, but then we failed at this 1382 extension at 857. So what I'm gonna watch for this week, can we hold over 800, right? We're at 817, can we hold over 800? If we can't, 773, 745 to the downside. If we can, then possibly a move back up to 883. So that's what I've got going into next week. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you like this video, hit that like. And if you like my content, make sure to follow my channel. So take care, good luck everybody, and I'll catch you in the market next week.